They played a heck of a lot better than we did. They coached a heck of a lot better than we did. It's uh, very frustrating right now. As a coach, I feel like I've done the worst job with this team in 31 years as a head coach. Um, but give give Michigan the credit. They got tougher. Uh, they made the tougher plays. Uh, uh, they shoot 50 something percent in the second half. We shoot 32. Uh, give up a three at the last second where we run down the court and don't guard the best shooter in the corner, which we talk about. So the coach is not getting the job done with this team. Um, very frustrated, but as frustrated as I've ever no, the most frustrated I've ever been. So. Uh, I love John. John's team they seem to be really good kids, and uh, they've got a chance to uh, hopefully do some great things. Anybody got anything? Of the things that went wrong, what in particular is the most disappointing? The job that the head coach is doing with this team. Right now we stink. And uh, we work on a screen on the ball every day, and uh, three plays in a row they set a screen in the middle of the court and dunk it or lay it up. Guys, I got no positive things. If you want some positive things, you better go out and find somebody on the street because I got no positive for me, no positives for my team. The stretch of the second half when you had the starters on there, it was because they stunk it up. Every one of them stunk it up, and so did I. We cut it to 11. I thought this could be cool. And uh, then we overrun the guy in the corner. Eight seconds on the shot clock. We're trying to play 21 defense, get the ball, and then try to – uh, switch any screen on the ball, and we overrun the ball in the corner, and then they make a three. Um, guys, I've coached for 31 years. Right now, my coaching sucks. I hope to, yes. How? If I knew, I'd already fixed the damn thing. You know, they haven't shot it particularly well from three, but uh, we seem to cure that. They were 11 for 22 tonight. But they have five guys that can handle the ball. They get great spacing. Uh, you know, their defense has been really good. I don't think that John would think they probably played as well defensively against us, but they got us to turn it over. I think it was uh, 10 turnovers for 18 points. Uh, yep. Uh, so every time we turned it over, it was out there on the court. And uh, But about his team, uh, you got five guys who can handle the ball. They, again, I think I said this. I'm a little frustrated in case you couldn't tell. Uh, but I think uh, their spacing is really good where they can drive. You know, all five guys, well, Tesca doesn't necessarily drive it, but everybody else can put the ball on the floor and take it to the basket. But they have a sense of urgency on the defensive end, too. They're, they're hard to screen because they fight through the screens. If they switch, they communicate and get that done. I like his team. Uh, I loved watching him on the tape. I thought he's very, very active and, you know, he plays 33 minutes tonight, 24 points. I'd say he's pretty active again, nine for 13. What do you think was the biggest difference between the two, between the Michigan you saw last year and this year? They won tonight. We won last year. That's the biggest difference. Yeah, he talked about and when I watched him in high school. I tried to recruit him early, but uh, uh, it looked like he was going to Kentucky pretty early because I thought he was a really good player. He reminded me of a game I saw him play in the Peach Jam. They've got good kids. I mean, uh, Coach, there was yeah. a, a sequence late in the first half uh, where they hit the two threes to end the half, and then uh, just before one of them there was a loose ball. Your uh, players were watching, and the Michigan player dove for it, and you – at that point, kind of took your glasses off and looked down. Was that kind of the point when you realized that it was going to be an uphill battle? I didn't know it was going to be an uphill battle at that time. But guys, think about this. The ball was being deflected out of bounds. And uh, we thought, you know, it, it was going to go out of bounds. Their player hustled and got the ball and threw it back in, and they attacked us on the other end. Another time, the ball was shot, and it's bouncing to the corner. And all of our guys are going back down. And their guy went after it and got it before it went out of bounds. The only problem was he stepped on the line. So I was frustrated.